Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome. Happy Friday, everyone. Weekend's around the corner, but I know you guys want to get into this and you want to make money and uh, that's how I am. I work over the weekend sometimes just to make sure my listings are good and everything is in order. So today, I want to talk to you guys about how you can make money on Amazon in 2019 and beyond. Now, there are a few ways that uh, you've probably heard of that you can make money on Amazon. The first is retail arbitrage, where you actually take um, known brands, uh, their products from retail stores and you sell it on Amazon's platform. Now it's my least favorite way because it doesn't allow you the flexibility to build your own brand and so on and so forth. The second thing is merch where you can actually design your design and make your own t-shirts uh, or apparel and sell it on Amazon's platform. That's something that um, I've tried but not really my forte. So. The where I actually succeeded is Amazon FBA and I think that's the best way to make the most money on Amazon. It's actually the easiest and it is a formula. It's if you follow the formula to the teeth, how I'm going to explain to you guys, you guys are bound to make a lot of money on it. So Amazon FBA is the best way to make money on Amazon. What is Amazon FBA? So Amazon FBA stands for fulfillment by Amazon as you as a lot of you guys may have already known that. So what does it mean? What is the process like? What happens is you have to wholesale products from overseas, right? First you search for a product, a product that you really uh, want to sell and you have to make sure that it's a profitable product. So the softwares that we use, which I've shown you guys, uh, Jungle Scout and Merchant Words, I've shown you guys how to use that. There's also Viral Launch that some people use as well. So you use these softwares to find profitable products. Next step is to wholesale it overseas. So most of the products come from China just because of the labor costs and how much manufacturing costs and it's lower and you never want to get into anywhere else because then your profit margins are really thin. So you manufacture it overseas and you bring it to an Amazon fulfillment warehouse, right? You, you probably have seen it in your city. They're popping up everywhere as Amazon is growing. I know they've opened up offices in Toronto now. There's a warehouse not too far from us uh, that they've built brand new. So once you ship it to uh, a warehouse, what they do, what you do and then is create your own listing on Amazon's platform. And when you create your listing, of course, there are certain things that I'm going to talk about that are very important. And then from there, when you sell your product, what Amazon fulfillment centers do is that they pick, pack your, uh, your or, uh, or your client's orders, customer's orders, and then they ship it to them. But there is a fee associated with that because they have to warehouse your inventory, first of all. Then they have to pick it, find it, pack it, um, and then ship it, right? So all these things cost. And I'm going to explain to you guys how the cost works. So, and then, yeah, and then from there, you just reap the benefits and the profit. Now, the other two ways, the retail arbitrage and the merch that I explained to you guys in the beginning, you can make money in that too. But the most profits that you will make is with Amazon FBA. And that's where I've succeeded and maybe I am biased to it. So, uh, but this is the, my absolute favorite way to make money on Amazon. So let's get into the nuts and bolts and see how it works. So let's say your name is Matt and you want to make a lot of money on Amazon, right? How do you do that? First, you have to find a product. So like I explained to you guys, Jungle Scout and Viral Launch and Merchant Wars, and if you're using a combination of the two, and I've done some videos on this, you are able to find absolute profitable products. And I suggest you guys don't look for products that are you're passionate about, like, oh, it's a luxury. You want to make sure the product is a need. Uh, you don't want too niche of a product. You want to make sure there is demand for it and all these kind of things. And you use Jungle Scout, Merchant Words, Viral Launch, these softwares that I've talked about um, to find your profitable product. Once you've found your product, now you have to find a supplier. And how do you find a supplier? you use a site called Alibaba. Alibaba is a wholesale site um, that a lot of manufacturers overseas, mainly China, post their listings. So basically sort of like Amazon, but is a wholesaler, right? So kind of like a Costco situation. And what they do is basically list the products that they're selling, how much they're manufacturing it for, essentially. And you go in and make a deal with them and say you want 200 units, 500 units, or what have you, ship it, to an Amazon FBA fulfillment warehouse, okay? Once you bring your product here, you have to start working on your listing. And I suggest you guys get a copywriter if you're a newbie um, and uh, get professional photos done. And a lot of people don't talk about that, but it's very important that you make a really great first impression. 
get that done get your listing uh, prepared properly and professionally and then uh, put it on Amazon's platform and then from there you have to rank your product so now that you have a listing it may not be on page 10 or 20 it might be even further down so now your job is to actually get it to a higher page. So people, or because as you guys know, people maybe go to like page three or five and then they stop looking for that product, right? Or they buy for, from one of the options that's available. So your goal is to make sure your product is on top page. Now, there are a few ways that I have talked about in a lot of videos, so make sure you check out every video on my channel so far because I've talked about how can you rank your product and I'm going to put the link below. So you have to rank your product and even if you have to do PPC campaigns, right, which is pay-per-click with Amazon, which is Amazon's uh, advertising platform, you have to make sure your product rises in ranking and the more sales you start to make, the more Amazon's algorithm will start pushing your product on page one. So now that you've put your product on page one and it's selling, the only other thing you have to worry about is inventory. Now, a lot of people forget this. They get so excited that they're making a lot of money, right? But they forget about the inventory. And then next thing you know, you run out of the inventory and then uh, people are still buying. And then all of a sudden, like you're panicking and your manufacturers say, okay, I need a month to ship this product to you, right? So you got to make sure you're on top of that. But that's really the only thing you worry about after you're selling consistently. So that's how the formula works. And you have to follow it to the T. You have to do one step at a time. Make sure you do every step right. And you're bound to make a lot of money. So how much money can you make? Let me explain to you guys the numbers. Let's say that you're selling um, a flashlight, right? You're selling it for $30, right? And you have looked on Alibaba, your manufacturing costs are about $5, right? You have another, let's say $2 to ship it here from overseas to Canada. Now this is $2 per unit, so don't get confused there. So now we have, in order to get our product from uh, overseas to here to an Amazon fulfillment warehouse and manufacture it uh, overseas, it's $7. It's costing us $7. Now, there's also another fees, the Amazon FBA fees, which they're going to store your product. They're going to pick, pack, and ship it to your clients. So let's say that cost is average, and then these are average numbers that I've worked out, so $8 per unit. So now you have $8 of Amazon FBA fees, and then you have $7 of manufacturing and shipping costs to bring it to an Amazon FBA uh, fulfillment center. So you have $15 of cost. The other $15 is your profit, right? Great, so you are at 50% profit margin, and that's where you wanna be. You don't wanna be anything lower than that because you wanna make as much money from this as possible. So $15 now you've made, and let's say you're selling on average, and this is for beginners that uh, I've done the numbers, you're selling about 10 units a day. So you're selling 10 units a day times $15, that's $150 um, that you're selling a day, uh, sorry, that's your profit. You're selling twice as much because your uh, price is $30, so you're selling $300, and 150 of that is your profit. So how much that translate into a month? So let me just quickly do my calculation. Um, $15 times 10 units, right, that you're selling a day, so that's $150 per day. And then over 30 days, which is a month, you are making $4,000 and 500 in profit. That's money into your account, into your pocket, after your cost and FBA fees and everything else. How amazing is that? Now, and imagine that this is from your first product and imagine you keep adding products and then every single one of them will bring you revenue. So that's the beauty of Amazon and that's why it's so powerful to make you guys a lot of money in a very short period of time. I hope you guys learned something valuable today and if you have any questions, comments, and if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Drop your comments in the bottom. If you have any specific questions about product research or anything like that, let me know and I'll happy to help you guys in any way I can. Thanks again, guys. It's Friday, so have a wonderful weekend and I'm going to talk to you guys on Monday. Bye.